They're back. Easy Carve Blocks. Easy Carve Blocks for Christmas. Uh, it was only a couple months ago that I did the video for uh, Halloween Fall with the Easy Carve Blocks. And in the beginning of that video, I went on a four or five minute tirade on, on why the Easy Carve Blocks, developing your skill, simplicity over difficulty, blah, blah, blah. I'll link that video at the end of this video, just if you want to listen to my little spiel on that. But regardless, I wanted to bring that Easy Carve Halloween block idea into Christmas. And that's what we came up with, with these simple little, little blocks. These are, these are all inch and a half square, but just like the Halloween ones, if you want to do staggered heights and different types of things, you can do that too. So why the Easy Carve blocks, again, is just easy. It's uh, great for beginners, but also great for uh, not beginners, for, for uh, you know, experienced wood carvers. They're just fun, quick little projects, and they will uh, make it easier to give away. You can hang them on a tree, you can put them on a shelf, you can put them on your desk, and uh, they don't even have to have faces. You can put little tea lights in them. Just same concept, Easy Carve, Quick, quick, easy, easy to give away, easy to put on the shelf. Fun little things. So, uh, yeah, just like the Halloween one, we're not going to do every one individually, but we're going to talk about them all. And, uh, yeah, kind of an idea video. And uh, anybody can do it, guaranteed. I'm going to use my old faithful inch and three quarter Helvy knife. I don't care if you have OCC tool. I don't care if you have flex cut. Helvy, Deep Hauler, Drake, whatever knife you got, it's going to be just fine for this. Don't get caught up in the tool, but the practice. So let's just jump right into it. All right, before we get started, look at how dark it is back there. I thought I was doing good, and I, I put a new strip light in here, and watch this. Uh, seizure alert warning right now. Look at that. I've been playing with this anti-flicker button and uh, I can't get that to go away. So I turn it off. <coughs> and then even then it takes a minute for it to calm down. But it's coming. As it, there it goes. There, now it, it got rid of it. But anyway, I got a piece of wood here, inch and a half square by, uh, I guess it's two and a half instead of doing the little little blocks. What I like about the little blocks is that they're all, you can just stack them up, right? That's pretty fun, right? But just for fun, we're gonna do some of uh, these taller ones. Snowman's no big deal. Snowman, I just uh, did a V cut around his neck here and uh, glued a piece of jute twine for a scarf. And all they are is, uh, everything else is painted. Except for the drilled a little dowel into his nose, for his nose, for the carrot, and uh, just carved it. So that's no big deal. So we won't even bother with that. But you can carve the eyes. You can see these eyes are, are carved round. But these ones are painted. See? So it's up to you how difficult you want to do. They're easy enough already. But uh, let's just look at Mr. Reindeer for a minute here. And he is so simple. I carved the eyes. I just grabbed these uh, rose hips from the, from the bush the other day, but I was also gonna play with the uh, dead, dead uh, cedar. That make for cool, cool antlers too. Or just go in the garden and nip some little twigs and give them an antler, right? But just little holes drilled. That's a nice one, right? But the nose itself is just a, uh, a piece of dowel that uh, just whittle, whittle a piece of dowel, whatever size you want, round, and then just nip, nip off the, the nose. And that's just glued right on there, all right? So again, we don't need to talk about him too much, whether you paint them or whatever, but I mean, they're just cute. You know, old Santa belt here. It's, that's a fun little symbolic little thing. You know, that's Santa's belt, right? But that's fun. So we, we may do that. 
and uh, of course a little bit of grinchiness going on here and I think that's what we want to start with okay but before we can even start we got to take our piece of wood and uh, miserable job here with the saw cut but we always want knife cuts on all the remaining wood for painting so end grain is the hardest to cut but but you can do it you can do it i don't care that it's perfectly smooth i don't i like seeing knife cuts but if your knife right now if you're doing that on the end grain if you're leaving a whole bunch of little white white uh, lines with your cuts that means you need a good stropping but that looks pretty good all right so and i'll do the same on the bottom but i don't care about the bottom right now but i am going to take all the corners off this piece of wood all right how much of the corner do we take off doug well i don't care you can take an eighth of an inch or you can take a quarter of an inch so you can do a little bit of everything but it makes no difference all right just knock the corners off any way you you like and the same thing goes for the top across 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 and yep you guessed it across same thing on the bottom across across i don't care if you swoop your cuts like that one did i just like seeing knife facets all right so is that it nope we're gonna go back and we're gonna take these little little corners off just like so all right the bottom two all right there we go now let's say this is gonna be our grinch face i'm gonna try and just get a uh, knife finish on that whole face before i even start the curve there we go remember if it tears one way turn around and do it the other way and uh, you shouldn't have any problems all right so let's work on uh old mr grinch he is uh trying to find center here again very simple we're gonna give him some little angry little uh eyebrows all right something like that I'm going to stick my knife in there. Come around. Okay. Now I'm going to come underneath of it and cut out the whole thing. Like that. Now, that's fairly close. Move it farther up here. Take the pencil mark off. Pencil mark off. All right, there we go. So, who want these eyes to come up? And angry, okay. Now, they say if you're right handed, draw the uh, left eye in first and it should be easier to copy with your right hand i'm going to prove that to be not true <laughs> but anyway very very simple we're just going to stick our knife in that side that side All right on the point here each way a little bit of an angle into the eye i guess i'm doing i'm just going to join them up join them up okay and take out those corners first all right Oh, 
That one didn't want to come out. Come out. Come out. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to cut down into our cut. And into our cut. Okay. And those are our eyes. Now we just want to clean that little edge up a little bit. All right. If I wasn't showing you, I probably wouldn't even put those pencil marks on there. All right. Come on, come on. And just kind of round them, whatever you, you think needs to be done. But there you go. You see that? All right, now for the mouth here, I'm just going to do the same thing. A little center mark here. And from there, we're just going to uh, go up like that. Kind of the same idea as we did the eyes. Kind of a little, little grinchy swoop there. Something like that. All right. So again, now I'm going to do a V cut though. Okay. So I'm going to come one, one way. All right. I'm going to come this way. Down. On the same angle. I'm going to come in this way. All right. And did I just do that same angle twice? I think I did. So, okay. Then we'll put a B cut up. Okay. Now that doesn't look very big enough. I'm gonna come a little bit farther, a little bit longer. All right. But to finish that mouth, watch this. I'm going to stick my knife in there. Like so I'm going to take a chip out of there. See that? All right. There we go. Little nose. Give him a little nose here. Same thing. Just a V cut. Knife in. Knife in. It's a 45 degrees, so I can just run that one right into the other cut. And just take that down like that. Yeah. Let's say we want to do some of this hair. Right. You can go on a 45 degree angle. I'm trying to get rid of all my pencil lines while I do it. All right. I'm going to turn around. That side. Up to that one. That one. That one. That one. And that one. If you're just doing an individual, you can just run that hair all the way around. But anyway, you can paint some heavy. Uh, heavy black eyebrows on there and uh, give him a little chin. Let's do that. We'll cut the little chin in there too. Same thing as the nose, only the other way around. A little 45 degree cuts. All right. 
See in this way, only this one I can cut into my other line. And then I can go like that. All right. There you go. And what the heck, let's just carve these little eyebrows in here. See? It's a uh, it's not a hard carve, but it's fairly satisfying. I painted this guy all yellow to start with and then I just did the green wash around it and just kind of blended it in so that that yellow is a little bit bolder and uh, a little light green but yeah they don't look the same but they both have the uh, the essence of Grinch and I think my biggest problem with that one is is the mouth you can see how I really hooked that mouth up there but anyway that's that now we're going to turn around and do the, uh, we'll do a Santa belt really quick, but I got to change my battery and my camera. All right. Battery is changed. And, uh, let's look on this little Santa belt here. So let's see what's, uh, let's find center here. Roughly center. Yep. Okay. We're just going to make that little buckle here however big we want to make it like so okay and then uh, the outer buckle all right and we always do that first before we even think about the belt because uh we're going to carve this down all right When I say down, what I mean is it's uh, in front of. Okay. It doesn't have to be too too deep either. Just right. Let's get it rough here, and then we. Know where we are. All right. You can see on this one here that uh, I have it a little kind of like cinched. Like it's a little bit tight if you can see the sides and that's why you could leave it like that all right so before we uh do any more let's cut the uh the center out the straight little cuts in there I'm just going to take these corners out all the way around. Okay, now I'll take my knife, clean off all those pencil marks. I could take a little, small little bevel. If I want to bevel the edge of that buckle. Just a little bit. That's a little dirty corner in there. Clean that up. Little bevels all around. All right. Now the uh, the belt is just the thickness of the inside. All right. 
so that's no big no big whoop. But take your time with these. I'm obviously rushing for video's sake, but uh, yeah, get all your cuts nice and neat and clean. Have a nice transition. You know, a fun idea. Same with the uh, the Halloween one too. A fun idea was to uh, do a different theme on each side. You could do a snowman, Santa. You know, just have it. You can spin it around. It's always kind of fun. Right. If you want to go with that uh, real pinch look, a couple little uh, cuts like this will give you the uh, cinched up fabric. All right. Huh? Put one up here. Yeah. So I did not uh, oil any of these before I painted them, I just really wet the paint on and just slopped it on. A couple coats on everything, you know, if you want to do some dry brushing, like Santa, you got some dry brush white on there. That paint, I think that red was almost uh, very lightly watered down because the red doesn't, it's not as bold when you, when you wash it down. But uh, yeah, and dry brush the candles with white and green. Green and red on the white, and red and white on the green. Right? But everything has a little bit of dry brushing, even the old uh, the reindeer, you can see a darker brown around there. So anyway, I don't think we have to go too much farther. It's just really the concept and the idea. So uh, I think we can call it right there. There you go. That's, uh, like I said, we're not reinventing the wheel or nothing or creating great artwork, but uh, it's just fun, easy, quick little Christmas projects. Fun to give away and uh, fun for you to make, even if you are an experienced carver. It's just fun. It's simple and fun. Now, uh, I want to say thanks to those who uh, hit that uh, tip jar coffee fund. You'll notice that the, uh, the buy me a coffee is gone. The Buy Me Coffee went away from uh, PayPal and uh, they went to Stripe and it made it very confusing being a Canadian in the bank accounts and stuff. So I just made up a little, uh, it's a PayPal tip slash coffee jar. So anyway, appreciate anyone who has uh, donated. Uh, always appreciated, never expected. And uh, yeah, I got lots of ideas. Hopefully I have time to get them all done. But I really wanted to get out this little simple beginner or experienced video just to uh, give you a taste. Like I said, make it what you want. You don't have to go into crazy detail to have uh, to get the idea. You know, like this says this says Christmas to me. Get one more, one more. You know, that says Christmas is Christmassy gets. <laughs> so anyway, I will be back sooner than later with another video. And uh, until then, thanks for watching. Give it a try. Give it a go. Very simple. And uh, if you do the tea lights, I'm telling you, make sure your bit is sharp enough to fit your tea light and uh, get the speed that you need because uh, drilling end grain is hard, but worthwhile in the end. So that's all I got. See you next time.